Hello, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. I uh, just wanted to wish you all thank you guys so much for the 300 plus subs that we achieved. We're on our road to 400 now. As again, as I always say to every video, I'm really thankful for your guys' support and everything, your guys' comments, everything like that. All the newcomers coming into the new channel as well, come in saying hello and everything like that. I'm really appreciative of you guys. I want to thank you guys again so much for the road to 400. You guys have been amazing. Uh, for today's video, I decided to finally uh, start diving more into Operation Siren and kind of been looking around what other people have been kind of going with and everything. And I think this is a topic now that it was probably going to be very controversial and everything like that. And a lot of people will have different opinions and everything like that. But I'm going to express my opinions today on what gear to actually focus out of the Operation Siren build shop. There's a lot of uh, misconceptions or a lot of... Uh, things that people have been wondering what gear should I actually aim for out of Operation Siren like what's Why am I running Operation Siren so much? What gear should I look for and everything like that? What gear to like plus 13 and everything like that and then eventually as well later on I have a bunch of other videos planned. I'm gonna probably just break them down into uh, Sub videos about what gear is best for what classes like what gear to put on light cruisers what gear to put on heavy cruisers Best in slot stuff like that now after we've had a lot of testing done now with a bunch of data miners and a close uh, group of friends of mine We finally got a guide together um, That we will be going over in the next video about what gear is best in the slot now and what to aim for for all your classes and everything like that as well. So without uh, further ado, let's start going into the super basics of what to pretty much aim for in Operation Siren and pretty much what not to build and what's not worth it and everything like that as well. So everyone knows what Operation Siren is at this point. Operation Siren is the new open world beautifulness that we've achieved uh, for our huge update for the past month and a half now. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that came with it and everything like that, new gear, new everything, uh, what's going on with the exchange shop, all that jazz, the beautiful and lagginess of the gear lab. So let's go ahead and dive right down into the gear lab. We'll pretty much just go through like each category at this point and say what's not worth it, what's worth it. Uh, so we'll start off with Equal Union and the DD guns. Pretty much nothing here that we really need to build because the twin 127s we can get from the Eagle boxes and everything like that. So if you look at breaking it down realistically what it costs to make this, I mean these are crucial prints that don't spawn on very well. So I mean if you look at how much this is going to require, I mean it takes 15 of these and 15 of these crates and these crates and these duct tape looking things don't really drop very well so if you think about how much resources that you're going to put into a piece of equipment like the 2127 which uh, is still a good sub auxiliary gun for like battleships and stuff like that but there's a lot of newer best in slot that you can get but this thing you can build from eagle boxes uh, so just open up your eagle boxes don't waste your blueprints onto this and just keep moving forward from there uh, the purple stuff's not really worth it or anything. Uh, for CL guns, I mean the triple 152 is also in a box, so you don't have to worry about that as well. Uh, not worth building or anything. The gold one's pretty solid if you don't, uh, if you need an upgrade or anything like that as well, or don't own anything as like a Seattle gun or the NEP gun for your CL gun, and you just need a decent gun to build. Uh, you can do this. Uh, these kind of relatively easier for me, honestly, getting like these huge bricks and then the boxes you can occasionally get and everything like that. You can see this one takes 21, so the resources in Operation Siren are very scarce, so you kind of want to focus on the stuff that's like priority that you mainly want, like pretty much the CA gun. The CA gun's a very good choice. It's a very good alternative if you don't have a Rune gun or the Twin 203 SKC or... Uh, Baltimore gun or anything like that or Drake's gun so if you need a solid uh, main gun for AP for a heavy cruiser the new gun to build out of this is really solid it's got good damage per salvo and shelling uh, it's got 45 plus firepower and everything like that as well uh, pretty solid gun I use it on Prince Heinrich right now and uh, she's doing pretty well with it and everything like that so I would definitely focus on building one of these if you can and everything like that as well. This would be one of the mainer focuses out of this category. Uh, BB guns, once again, a lot of these you can build just from boxes like the 406. There's no point of building the 406. As once again, that could come out of the boxes. All these other ones aren't really worth it at the point right now. 
the gold version of it's not uh, not really worth it at the point. It takes too much of the good resources that you can be using towards other uh, blueprints and everything like that as well. Uh, the surface torps, like the quad torpedoes, is pretty much just a slight upgrade over the previous ones. Um, so, but as far as building torps, I would probably recommend going with the IJN ones first if you're going to build a torps because uh, their patterns a lot nicer to control. Uh, for manual players and everything like that as well and they're the quads so getting the updated quads is a lot nice you can build these mark 17s but once again if you look at their blueprints not like that because if you click on this uh, a lot of you can see a lot of the equipment kind of shares the same pattern now like we're getting again we're getting these boxes which are pain in the ass to grind uh, these superconductor wires these blueprints and everything like that as well not really worth it in my opinion just because of the amount of materials that's going to be used to actually even make that it's ridiculous uh, as far as aa i mean a lot of the aa like the bofers there's no point in building the bofers because once again you get them out of boxes uh this is like a slight upgrade over the like between the bofers and everything like that but realistically if you're going to go aa just focus on pr3 uh, blueprints grinding and uh, get the sextuple bofers in my opinion I wouldn't really build any AA guns out of this so far fighters none of these are really worth it the F6 Hellcat you can drop from a box the Tiger Cat is, is like a slight upgrade and honestly if you just want a fighter that's best in the slot still just focus on building them in your um, doing your daily hard modes and buying the pirate squad out of the core data shop so that's what I would focus on now torp by torp torp Torp, 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 torp. torp planes are completely different slash dive bombers is a complete game so as you can see we have hell divers uh, that was our previous best in the slot for a long time still very good uh, you can still use them at plus 10 and everything like that but now we have an upgraded version of them which is a high priority focus of getting building this the experimental xsb 3 cs pretty much on par with the hell divers but you get that slight aviation bonus of 45 uh, plus more so you want obviously you want to still preload these onto like saratoga essex your ca other high craft carriers you know enterprise stuff like that as well i can see that these take the uh, 20 circuit board chips which is very common around planes so you want to be careful what plane you build because if you waste these these are very very crucial ones to get and they're very hard to get in my opinion um I'm, it's kind of RNG based on how to get them and everything like that as well. If you're me, I don't really get them that much. I was lucky enough to everything I was doing, I was at least getting one per run or a couple per uh, battle that I was doing in Operation Siren. Other than that, uh, this stuff is very crucial when it comes to the planes, so I would focus the planes that are worth it more, especially the experimental SP3C. Uh, you're with your Artemis of a 2,000 pound bomb, 500, two 500s, and the cannons. Uh, the damage that potential out of this is very nice and uh, your return on it is very good as well so uh, I would really focus on that maybe building one of the XPT 2 destroyers it's an upgrade pretty much over the BTD it's pretty solid decently uh, then compared to the BT destroyer and everything like that and then as far as sub torps again uh, none of these are really worth it honestly the mark 28 is a meme I wouldn't really build that the sub uh, torp that we're going to be looking at right now is going to belong into another category so we're going to move over to HMS once again DD guns not really worth it the good thing now that we see is we can get these twin 134 high angle guns and everything like that but now we go to our CL guns and like oh my god we can build Neptune gun that's great it's a PR it's a PR and obviously no one wants to farm PR equipment but the other issue is that now look at the resources that this thing takes 72 of these bricks it takes to build this gun that is insane that's so much plates that you could have been using towards other equipment instead of this Neptune gun right here is the Neptune gun good yes but you're using 72 of these plates which Operation Siren in general when, when you're farming strongholds and abyssals our drop rate for these plates aren't very good and our fact they're mediocre at most so you're wasting 72 of your blueprints to build Nep gun it was not even worth it and you have to build this purple one too as well before you even upgrade into the Nep gun so it's great that you can get Nep gun and everything and then obviously you know the beautiful gear lab freezing and everything like that as well when you're trying to do a video at a at a at a boy 
Azure Lane, you know, fix that shit, Yostar, please. It's really annoying uh, when you're, you know, trying to uh, do stuff. You know, if you can fix your uh, gear lab not freezing every like 20 seconds, and it's pretty great. Uh, the other thing that I'll be pretty much focused on is mainly planes. So, like, when you're looking at uh, Operation Siren, honestly, majority of how CVs are now with the new concealment new concealment thing uh your planes are a really heavy focus on your stuff so your planes like your experimental acquisitions three you definitely want to build first uh then you want to go into your fire crest and everything like that ca guns i mean a lot of these aren't really worth it the bb guns like these memes are in here like you have the advanced which stop giving people the advanced 381s we don't need that anymore we don't need that that gun's only viable on hood we have the twin 406 six now which is even better from pr2 for barrage trigger battleships and everything like that you might as well just use that and everything like that service torps like once again you get slight upgrades from the previous ones not really a primary focus aa once again you got the twin 133 here the twin high angle but the issue to build a twin high angle is you got to build this pom pom gun into this into this into this you have to build four things into it before you even build the twin 134 once again not worth it. Too many materials. Too many things. Focus on your planes. Uh, sea Hornet. Once again, too many materials and everything like that as well. Just stick with the normal pirate squad. This will be your first other plane that you're going to be focused on. Would be the Firecrest. Uh, you need a Blackburn Firebrand to actually go into the Firecrest, so you can get your Blackburn Firebrand from Core Data Shop as well. Now. Uh, these at uh, actually higher levels are slightly better than the Barracuda now. The Barracuda has terrible scaling at plus 13 now. So the Firebrand can actually be pretty much on par with the Barracuda. So you might as well just start using the Black Brand over the Barracuda. Or if you have Barracudas and you don't have a Black Band, just use the Barracudas now until you get a Black Band uh, leveled up and everything like that. Then you got your Fire Crest. Then you're going to have to make another Fire Crest to craft into your Wyvern, which will now be our new best in slot Torp Bomber. Because the Wyvern is fucking busted as shit. So our first rainbow plane gives 65 plus aviation bonus and then your artemis that are actually on this have crazy high ass scaling so this thing is completely fucking busted so we want to primarily focus on your fire crest building your experimental xp3c wyvern once you get the chance and everything like that and then your sub torp which is now going to be the new best in slot which is going to be the biter you need the mark v submarine torps which you can get from your sos missions and your daily submissions or your weekly submissions submarine missions uh, i want to create the chance that you get this so you can make the biter which is now a better version of the g70s which were our previous best in slot you can still use the g70 you don't have to replace it until you get the biter uh, pretty much everyone will be pretty much getting a free biter because they give one of this for us for free So your second one is going to be the more pain in the ass one to farm because these drop rates on this torp is terrible moving on to IGN on once again nothing really in here that's remarkable that stands out you got belfast gun which you can get from a box you have octago gun which you can get from core you have these meme shits here you got the breach loading thing which i'm pretty sure that is yamato's gun and everything like that uh we don't have yamato yet so don't build it anywho uh moving on the torps the 610 quads pretty much what you would want to build be a, a nice upgrade over the 610s uh manual ones you know a little bit nicer straighter pattern and everything like that as well so i would recommend building that i'm not going to do that right now because i don't want to waste my plates even though i have enough to do so you have the desk meme aa guns once again too many plates to focus on fighters like the rep U and everything that is literally a farmable plane don't waste your plates on building a repu when you can literally get it and farm this side of a map seriously just focus your plates on the xp3c the Wyvern, the Firecrest, and the XPT, XPT Blackburn. That's pretty much all you really need. The Kawanakashi, I mean, is a slight upgrade over like the Comet. So, and this is going to be a farmable one in an event when it comes back. So don't even worry about building into that either. I wouldn't worry about that. As far as Tor Bombers, or Yusei, once again, don't waste your plans on this. This Yusei Model 12, uh, that'd be nice for Hayuga. So. You can definitely recommend building at least one of these for Hayuga, get her uh, aviation bonus stat higher up there as well. And then those will be the new best in slots for the BBVs, which is the aviation battleships. 
Uh, first of all, like Hayuga and Yamashiro, but we don't care about Yamashiro because she's trash when uh, she gets converted in. So mainly it's just for Hayuga. Focus on building that. Then you have your Ryuse and everything that's that. Once again, those are event. Don't build it. It's not worth it. Subtorps, you can build, you know, the 96 and everything like that. Once again, that's also not worth it. Just focus on the Biter for some Marine Torps as far as right now and everything like that. So you can get a better Torp and everything like that. Those are best in the slot as far as damage, as far as tracking and everything like that as well. Uh, we have the new DD guns from Iron Blood, which this actual AP one and the purple one are actually really good. So both of them are really good. I would definitely recommend building them. Uh, this is the first thing that's like an AP uh, main DD gun that you can actually try and everything like that. Uh, I've been testing on Z46 with her skill and she actually seems to do pretty well with it. So very solid gun to get, very solid gun to build, but I would focus that later on after uh, focusing on your planes. Once again, you got the Twin 150 in here. You have a bunch of equipment that you can constantly keep seeing that you can literally just build out of boxes. You can build rainbow mags, that's cool shit ton of plates so good luck building that in a while because unless you're extremely lucky with your plates because that's going to take forever to build none of the bombers out of here are really worth it or the fighters member shits in here you can get that out of a box the nothing in this category as far as tour bombers are good for iron blood they're pretty honestly all of them are pretty bad and then you can build g70s from iron blood so but you can farm, as again, you can farm those in your submarine, so it's not really worth it and everything like that as well. Uh, so what's recommended for plus 13 right now and everything like that as well. Obviously, a lot of the categories equipment didn't really switch or anything like that as well. If we're going to mainly primarily focus on planes, obviously plus 13, plus 13, this experimental would be really great. Uh, your pirate squad plus 13 in that is what we pretty much want to aim for your catapults plus 13 those the 406 barrage gun or you can plus 13 your kgv gun a lot of the guns that are specific to certain ships you can pretty much plus 13 those that's safe right now uh black shell white shell uh fire control radar for battleships stuff like that would be uh, primarily auxiliary plus 13s that you can look forward to and everything like that as well uh, you can plus 13 the fire crest, but I would just recommend just probably just keep it at plus 10 so that way uh, Or just build another one keep it at zero So your return value towards your wyvern would be a lot better than losing half of your plates at plus 10 so Everything else will pretty much change new best in the slot. We'll go over Everything from there you can plus 13 your dishwashers you can plus 13 your beaver badge uh, SG radars for AA plus 13 pretty much your stag bofers your six tuple bofers Everything like that other than that we'll be working on another video So I'll primarily go over best in slot for certain ships gear and everything like that and We'll go over that with the guy that we made from a bunch of other people have been playing the game for data mining uh, me uh, like a bunch of my other friends, we've finally got together and just made a guide for best in the slot. We tested everything and everything like that as well. And uh, Mergle made a very nice detailed guide, which is a good Twitch friend of mine, that were uh, explaining everything and everything like that as well, which we will go over next video. I just want to thank you guys again for uh, taking this time to watch my video. I gotta appreciate it. I love reading all your guys' comments. I'm looking forward to making another video. I'm um, actually got some time uh, during this week, so I actually might push out another video on Saturday and Sunday and uh, go from there and see what we can push out. If you guys are enjoying my content, uh, I recommend following me on my social media, which I'll link in the description below. Come hang out with us on Discord. You can ping when I go live and when I make new videos as well. We also do stream on Twitch if you're enjoying my content. I stream about three to four times a week on Twitch. I will link that in the description below as well. And then if you guys have any other video suggestions that you want to see as well, comment in the description below. I would love to see some comments that you guys would like to see and everything like that as well. And if you're interested in other gacha games such as Genshin Impact or Arknights or anything like that as well, I do play that as well. Same as Princess Connect as well. So if you guys want to see some videos on that, let me know and everything like that. Hope again guys that you're doing good. I wish you a half a week. Hopefully everything for the event is going out great for you guys. And I'll see all you guys again later next time. Peace out.